Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Gosha Dude here, and this is my review on the Transformers Dark of the Moon Cyberverse preset, The Ark with Rona. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and concentrate on Rona first. So, get the Ark out of the way. And we can look at this new guy. So, Rona in G1 series is um, Optimus Prime's little, um, I wanna say golf cart. It's not really a golf cart, but it's like a little. Uh, car they can uh, have another car that um, carries other like the humans and that stuff but uh, it's part of his trailer it's that blue car with the six wheels anyway so here's Rona um, this one is a um, a lunar um, satellite uh, rover I guess that's what I'm gonna call it he has these um, solar panels take some sun there's no receiver right here I believe he's got the um, Focus in on it. One second. Let me see the detail. Okay. There we go. Um, you can see he has the uh, camera right here. Little arm. They can ha hold other type of bus uh, weapons. But yeah, there's the kill camera. There's no Autobot symbol right there. Alright. And uh, that's the articulation. This panel moves up and down. This moves up and down also. This moves this far this much. To the left and this much to the right. Okay, move left to right on this hinge and go up and down on this hinge also. And that's about it. And he has wheels. He has four wheels. Okay, so let's get this guy transformed. So, what we're going to do is take um, the robotic arm, push it all the way down here, flip this down, flip this up right here. And it will actually stay there. Although it seems kind of loose when it's up here. Like, do it a little bit. See, it's how, you see how loose it is right here. But we put it in like that, it stays in fine. So unpeg the treads from the body. Bring this whole section down. Straighten them out. Then flip these around. And they don't really peg in anywhere. They just sit there. Like literally, they just sit there. And then you get this other arm, this smaller arm right here. Move that out of the side. Then bring this arm forward, and that'll become his ridiculously long arm. And here's Rona in robot form. So, get some detail. Focus, please. Thank you. So, nice Cybertronian Michael Bay style kind of face. Looks like a skull, pretty much. That's what it looks like to me. Has these nice yellow eyes. Bitty, bitty, tiny. Nice metallic blue. Um, um, for people who saw uh, Transformers uh, Dark Moon, I think this thing's supposed to connect right here. Yeah, it is actually. So it does connect right there. So his arms are already in like so. Okay, well, that's something new to know. Um, the beginning part of the Dark Moon, when um, you see the Orc flying, si flying in Cybertron, trying to dodge some um, um, uh, interceptors or whatever, you see these guys like men in the gun turrets, and so there's like a bunch of them. So yeah. Um, articulation, there's arms on a bar joint, you can go all the right way around, go in this much as you just saw earlier, go in and out like this. Uh, this arm can go up this high, go down this low, bend at the elbow only in this way, there's no swivel, there's no like swivel joint so you can turn it. So it's always stuck in this mode. And the um, this thing looks like it should shoot out but it's just molded in there. So there goes the front of that. Legs, they can strangely be turned like this. It's kind of strange how they work that ball joint out. But you can go back this much, you can go up way high, bend at the knee both ways, and that's about it. So, there's no sub of this character. Okay, let's put him off to the side. Now we look at the big thing that came with him. Here is the Ark. Nice big old civil ship. Reminds me of something from um, I want to say like a mix between Star Trek and Matrix for some reason. Like those ships from the Matrix. That's what this thing reminds me of sometimes. So in the front you got these quad turrets right here. You got these two other turrets that light up. Got these two heavy guns right here, and I guess these um, these things on the side right here are missiles. So we we'll just go with that. Uh, it has some uh, extra guns up here. 
He has two more gold ones right here. And in the back, he has these two turret guns, which actually I think in the movie, they would just um, um, help, help it direct where to go, like a, like a ship. So, and also two types of uh, molded color suppressor. This is like a night of green right here, while this is more of a metallic shine to it. Let me get that out of the way. Uh, this guy has one, two, three, four, five, six, six Mectech ports. And he actually has eight, but these two are taking it up, so he has a total of eight on the outside body. Which I'm not gonna do it right now. I did it I did it I think a long time ago for that dude bus when I was that dude bus toys, but um I got a bunch of mech tech um mech tech and I just noted the crap out of the ship. It was it looks pretty awesome, but I'm not gonna do it right now. Uh, and he has six of these smaller ones. Um yeah, there's six of these smaller ones, like three on each side. Hold the small weapons. Excellent. Okay, so this is going to be pretty. Uh, oh yeah, also, um, cockpit does open. You can fit one no normal size. The commander size one barely fits, except for Optimus. If you shrink his legs, he can fit in here. So you put him in here. You close this, and if you get him just right, uh, he can start up the uh, the arc. And also, I didn't get him right, but um, it's supposed to push him down or something. So you get that nice ship humming sound. It will go off and like um, it, will, it, it will probably would have gone off a couple more seconds if I didn't let go early. But you get that down. Sometimes you can get it like just in right and like that. Oh, such a pro. Okay, time to transform this guy. So transform him. You just open. Oh, it's getting annoying. Take him out. Transform this. Grab both sides and open them up. Actually. Well, when you transform it, this, uh, these two uh, gun emplacements, they will go up like this, but I'm going to take them out now for now. And they do have crit points right here, so you can crit on some uh, more weapons. So I'll go ahead and transform it. I'm going to back up. Open this up, actually. And three, two, one. Um, that sounds like, uh, like a reuse sound. I think it's from the Devastator toy. Let me hear it one more time. Oh yeah, and also um, go ahead and do it. This is what it sounds like when it closes too. Yeah, so there you go. And then you open these two sides up and reveal more stuff to show off. So let's go start in the center. Um, this section up here some of this section up here which kind of looks like a face for some reason now um, you can bring this whole section down uh, push the where the quad guns are push them down and now I act as like a command tower you can get your another figure and go uh, put in this Altus Prime Autobots attack kill them all kill all the Decepticons so you can you do that here's another prison right here throw a Decepticon in uh, it'll fit only the small Transformers, uh, you put like Megatron or anything like that, anything like Commander size, it will not fit in that. I've tried, it's not pretty. And I did not mean to shoot that. He also has this little base right here, which can hold together. Little turret right here. Zoom in right there for a second. There's no turret, it can go around. Like so, and run like that. And if you push um, this gold button right here, it would do nice and sound. And I forgot to show that off in ship mode, I'll do that at the end. You come on shooting them. That's pretty fun. So, zoom out. And right here, and, you, and if all my Baku gun fans, you probably seen me use this to launch my Baku guns because it's what I use, but I'm not doing it anymore. So right here is this launch ramp, which you take a figure that is a vehicle, like a car, and you place them right here. And the weight will get the ignition started. You can see the guns going right here. And then when you pull this lever back, they are launched. 
But what I like to mess around with, um, say a Decepticon comes up here, and he's right here. You pull this real fast, he gets launched. Like that. So that's pretty, so that's pretty fun, I like to mess around with. Uh, okay, so on this side. This side, uh, you can see all these more weapons, these are removable. You can take this out, and you can take these out. So, I guess you can give it to someone to hold. Like your normal transformers, but they're pretty much placed right here. And this missile does not launch, there's no trigger, so it just stores this extra missile right there for y'all. There's this medical bay right here for Ratchet. You can put a transformer right there, pretend you're repairing him. That's the little arm that swivels around. And that's it. And on each side, they have opposites of uh, connector points. And you can, let's say we take um, this orbital carrier, orbital assault carrier, and it can dock with the base, like so. So it can keep it in place, we get night ready to launch. So that's no bit fun. So you get more places as you this um, fortress like assembly. Okay, now go on the other side. As you see, my hand accidentally launched the missile earlier, but put that in. That's what comes out. Same deal. And on this side has the, uh, the five spires to open a space bridge. So that's pretty cool to add that in there. So I'm gonna see you guys later. Whoop. So that's what that does. So yeah, suddenly none of this happens in the movie. Although I got some nice detail, like some um, honeycomb shaped panels are missing. Oh, excuse me, like it does in the movie. Okay, this set when it's opened up for me like this. Hold on a second. Okay. So this whole set fully open, it has one... Are these make two ports? Nope, no. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about seven mech tech bolts. And it can hold one, two, three, four, five, five um, Cyberverse weapons that have small pegs. Except this arm's taking up one of them, so he only has four right now. But yeah. So it's a, it's a pretty fun set, it's pretty cool. So just pack it up, close all this up, fold this up, and then transform back to ship mode. Simple as that. Oh yeah, I forgot, nah, screw it, all right. I was gonna say, you can put the, um, the gun emplacements right here, act as extra turrets, but well. Okay. There we go, close all the way down. Okay, so the thing I was I forgot to show off when I was in ship mode was that there's a go button up here also which presses down that one on the inside and it fires the guns. So that's pretty fun also. I like to do like rapid fire like this. So yeah. So um and also it's not into scale like in the movie because I think in the movie it's a little bit longer and um, this whole section right here can flip all the way down and shoot backwards so I don't know how they got that out and also there's some two more turns right oh, can't even see it two more turns right here and you can see all this empty space they hollow out because they don't want to use that much plastic on this toy so yeah uh, that's my review on the Cyberverse Dark of the Moon the arc with roller and if you get the target version you get sentinel prime with it and you get the extra sentinel prime with it so yeah stand up so yeah that's my review on um, this set if he stands up i hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for more awesome reviews from ghost dude and i'll see you guys later